The bomb disposal team of the civil defense is on mission in the old city of Mosul. A few days earlier, residents alerted them about unexploded ordinances in a building destroyed during the war against the IS group. We already removed around 40 remnants of the war. I think there are still more because the IS group used this building as a weapons depot. More than two years have passed since the battle for Mosul, but much of the old city has yet to be cleared of explosives. The massive levels of destruction as well as human remains complicate the task and the civil defense isn't always equipped to face the hazards. Sometimes we find UXOs that contain gases. Several among us have already suffered injuries because of it. It's not just a risk for these experts, but also for civilians who bear the brunt of casualties. Mohaybar lost his leg in March after stepping on an improvised explosive device south of the city. He's receiving treatment in a hospital in East Mosul, managed by international organizations. I'm really satisfied. I feel very comfortable. Mohaybar should receive his prosthetic leg in a few months, but not all victims enjoy the same access. There is a huge number of the amputated persons, especially inside Mosul and outside. The scale of injuries is one challenge, the quality of care another. Bilal lost both legs in 2017, but his father says that the artificial limbs he received are not suitable. Because he doesn't have legs, the bones are touching the plastic. Day by day, he suffered more and more pain. The hospital advised us to get robotic limbs, but they are too expensive. The family has received no financial support. The lack of resources makes matters even worse for amputees, who are estimated in their thousands in this region alone.